<sighs> they could subtly use this as a weapon, providing two meter radius. Hi, I'm Matt and this is not enough tech and what I've got here on this beautiful extension lead is the Mi Home Gateway. This Xiaomi Hub, it's a Zigbee enabled uh, bridge between Wi-Fi and low power sensors like uh, this temperature sensor or uh, this cube. Now what's great about this is that Hub itself, I can perform a couple of functions and can be connected to Node-RED without hardware hacks. So that's exciting and uh, what we can do with it, I'm gonna show you in a small showcase now. So what I've got in here, it's the dashboard. Uh, dashboard is uh, built in an old red, so everything is already up and running. The same screen I've got on the computer in here. Now I'll be able to control the light and the speaker using this dashboard. So I can just set the color I want and it instantly changes into the uh, picked color, so I can have my red, I can control the intensity, I can have my blues, greens, etc. Or I can just toggle the uh, light off. Uh, now another thing is I can use the speaker to play custom sounds or the sounds that are already there. There is a 20 odd sounds available straight away, plus you can upload a couple of your own sounds including voice recordings and play them from the speaker. So I have made a list in here, so you can pick one sound and play it at the selected volume. If you don't like it, you can stop it midway through as well. So that's the dashboard and that's the presentation and here how to integrate this with Node-RED. First you have to open your Mi Home uh, application and go to Control Hub. The Control Hub has to be set into local mode so you can actually send uh, the device over local, uh, the controls over the local network. You do it by going to About option and then at the bottom you'll see the plugin version which has to be type, uh, pressed a couple of times uh, in order to enable the secret development menus. Now in a wireless communication protocol you'll see a toggle and this toggle has to be uh, enabled in order for this to work. Below this you'll see the password which is uh, used to authorize the commands to external devices. So if you're issuing something to a light or a socket that's the password you're gonna need later. Once you enable this, you'll notice there is a hub information and this is a handy JSON formatted information about your hub itself and the sensors connected to it. Uh, it will contain a couple of very useful information including your IPs, uh, MAC addresses, names for the devices and also the unique device ID, so DID or SID which is going to be needed to control the devices and obtain the information. So copy that, paste it into a notepad and you'll have a handy reference guide uh, when setting up Node-RED. To use Xiaomi a Gateway with Node-RED, first we have to install uh, the node itself. So go to Manage Palette and install the node as shown in here, which is uh, Node-RED Contrib Xiaomi Smart Devices. That's the node I'm using. Now, once this is installed, first thing we're gonna uh, do is drop in Xiaomi Hub node and that node has to be obviously configured so we could add our device. So add the new uh, gateway, uh, name it, then enter the key, uh, the key and the key was the password from the wireless configuration screen, uh, the address and then port. Uh, the port itself, uh, it's a default port, it's 9898 and the IP address can be obtained from the information from the uh, Mi Home app, which basically contains two JSON files, one for the hub and one for the, all the sensors you have attached. And I'll just pay attention to a couple of things in here. First of all, you're gonna find uh, the IP address uh, here. Uh, you can use Fing app uh, to see what devices are connected to. Now, uh, another thing to pay attention is the SID. Uh, for all DID, which is a device ID uh, for each sensor attached as, uh, attached as you're gonna need this. And this is how you add the sensors. You'll see here there's a space for extra sensor. So choose the sensor type and enter just that string of characters in here after Lumi dot. That's your ID uh, needed for this. And then you can uh, just name the sensor itself. Enter it here. If you want a new sensor, just uh, drop it off. I'm not going to configure this just yet. 
Uh, now, once we have this uh, added, you can uh, decide how often you want to receive the information, and that's going to be your heartbeat. There are three different information types available from uh, the well through the Node-RED. And the first thing is a heartbeat, and basically uh, every X seconds it will update you with a couple of information. You're gonna get your IP, you're gonna get an authorization token. Um, we're gonna need, uh, you're gonna get the SID or DID device ID from the um, gateway and uh, the model type of the device that's been reporting. So this is uh, the heartbeat type. That's the command heartbeat. Now another one, it's gonna be alert. And this is a uh, well, report actually. And uh, this is whenever there is uh, something to report back to the hub. And uh, this is the command report. And it will give you the model uh, of the sensor that has been reporting back. The sensor will also post their ID that's going to be needed to control it. And then in data type, you're going to have a JSON. Uh, giving you information about the update. In this case, I've used the cube and the cube just sent alert. Now, third one is the most important thing in these circumstances because we're gonna use this to control different settings. So as you can see, there is control type right and uh, there is uh, two information that we have to provide. Uh, in this scenario, we're gonna be controlling gateway. So I need to provide uh, DID or SID uh, so device ID for the gateway and then I can pass the controlling information as a JSON object. It's going to be a different JSON for each information type and I'm going to discuss this in detail. So let me just uh, jump back to the uh, node red and configure everything so I could show you how it works. So as you can see this is LED controls. I can pick the color, the, the side about colors uh, intensity or turn off uh, the, they call it the LED altogether. Now the way it works, it took me a while to figure out. The color picker allows you to receive hex a value, which is a hexadecimal uh, value of three characters, red, green, and blue, with alpha added to it. However, the, you can use the color picker itself uh, to get that value, but the problem is the actual um, gateway requires alpha to be passed as the last instead of the first one. So what we have to do in order to pass this value, so this is the command that we're gonna send. We're gonna send this payload to command it, and the R RGB actually passed over, it has to be integer of the hexadecimal value with alpha. And I know that sounds complicated, but basically what it is, is that our default information about the color is stored in this position. So we have our alpha, we have our green, sorry, red, green, and uh, blue values written down as hex. Now, in order to receive it correctly by gateway, it needs to be passed as red, green, blue, and alpha, and that has to be translated into an integer integer being a number. There's a number of uh, ways of doing it. First of all, we can use the hexadecimal to decimal converter, which I've linked in the tutorial as well. However, Node-RED will allow us to simply code it. So when I receive that information, what I do, I use a couple of variables to store individual characters uh, in them and then rearrange everything to the correct order. Later on, I use parse integer to receive information from this hexadecimal uh, information into an integer and that is stored as my value. Now, if I want uh, to turn the lamp off, all I have to pass is zero. So when the RGB value is zero, then the LED is disabled. Now, this is when it comes to LED control. The sound control is simple as well. First of all, if you look at the design of the widget, we have a play and stop button, we have a volume control, and we can select uh, different um, tunes that are available on the gateway itself. Uh, now, this, each tune is linked as a number. So when we go to the actual default values, you will see that uh, I've created an array of key values and every tune uh, has number assigned to it. Now the numbers in here um, are needed as a, a string, so I'll have to convert them into an integer later on, uh, but there's a couple of things to note. First of all, we can pass the custom values, and the custom values start with uh, 10,001, 10,002, and 10,003, 
and these are either recordings of your voice or um, mp3s or sounds you've uploaded yourself to Xiaomi Gateway. Now they're going to be in the same order as in an order in the Mi Home app. If you're going to use the value of uh, 10,000 without a 1, 2, 3, that's going to cause the music to stop playing. So let's uh, take a look at the actual script. So first of all, I select the sound and I store it in a flow variable. Then I select the volume and I store it in a flow variable too. When I press the play, all I have to do is just pass the uh, command, which is right, fill in SID S or DID, so device ID, uh, models gateway, and pass the data, which is uh, mid, which is probably for MIDI, and volume for obviously for volume. Now, uh, one thing to remember, I have to change that string which is issued by the dashboard because those selections are going to be passed over as a number, as a string, and I need that as an integer, and you can do this uh, by parsing integer like this. And this is when when I play the mu button, the music starts to play. If I want to stop it, I have a stop button, and it does the same, uh, apart from sending the commands to stop, which is at 10,000. And if you want to change the volumes, obviously you can do that, but for stop action it's just uh, complementary information. But this is in a nutshell how we control uh, the um, Xiaomi gateway from Node-RED. And all that setup can be uh, found on the website, so if you're just going to go to the description of this, uh, you'll find at the bottom that you can actually download uh, all that I've been talked to, and all the detailed information is obviously in the article itself. As you can see, that was fairly simple. Right now, I don't have any um, ZigBee-enabled devices I could control uh, via this hub. I have a U-Lite, but they come with a set of API, uh, which I use instead, and that's fine. Uh, however, once I get something to control, I'll be talking about these um, devices in details. In the next video, we're going to talk about the temperature and the cube itself, because both can be used with Node-RED 2, and uh, I'm going to have a detailed articles about each one of them so for now thank you so much for watching guys if you want to share this video with your friends so you know how the social media works you know how to find me on any platform of your choice so follow me there if you're interested in updates as for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video soon take care bye